Hi guys, and welcome to Masters Personal Training. So today we're gonna to be talking about cravings. Now, cravings are one of those things that uh, many, many, many people suffer with. However, there are cravings, and oh, there's you know, what people identify as cravings, and they are real cravings, and then there's habits. So a true craving is where you've got an irresistible urge to eat something. And the actual fact is that a lot of cravings are nutritional deficiencies. So um, a lot of people crave something sweet when they finish their meals and they, uh, they need to have that, um, that, that sweetness to um, kind of finalize their meal and make them feel uh, nutritionally satisfied. However, it's been proven that a lot of times that, that sweet sensation that people are actually craving is a lack of fat in the diet. So you're gonna have a, a chicken salad and you finish it and you're left kind of wanting at the end of it. Um, you're not really sated and you kind of feel like you're missing something. So you go and get a Magnum ice cream or a, you know, some cake or a biscuit um, all of which have got plenty of fat in, and you feel better. And it's the combination of the fat and the sugar that makes you feel a bit more satisfied. But you can actually get the same effect by having fat by itself. So the next time you're getting a sweet craving after you finish your, your meal, um, try having fats only. So in this case, you could have a bulletproof coffee, so get your coffee, and put some butter in it. Or you could actually preempt this and try this. So may, do one day and eat your, your normal chicken salad and then do another day and put a decent amount of uh, olive oil or coconut oil on the salad. Obviously if the coconut oil, you need to make sure it's, it's liquid. And see the difference and what happens to your body and its reaction to that meal and if you feel more sated. Now, don't forget that fat contains more calories than protein and carbs. So you need to account for this when you're doing your nutritional calculations. So if you make a, I don't know, 350 to 500 calorie uh, chicken salad and you put 10 grams of oil on it, well, there's an extra 90 calories of fat. So just make sure you take that into, con into consideration when you're, when you're adding up your calories. Um, it's not that fat is bad, it's just that you know, fat is calorie dense, okay? So those, those are actual cravings, okay? Um, and then you've got the habit, all right? And these are often where people, they think they're, they're craving something, but they're just, uh, they're not really actually in the mode of, you know, they, you eat your meal and, oh, I always have something sweet after I finish eating, regardless of whether you want it or need it or whatever. And if you're trying to lose weight, it's important to understand that those are just kind of empty calories that are offering you no nutritional benefit. And if you want to um, get away from that, then you've got to find a way of breaking that habit, which we'll talk about on another day, because today was all about cravings. So, but just understand that that's not a craving, it's a habit, okay? A true craving is where you've got a, the, the, you know, you, you need that thing, okay? Ask any pregnant woman about cravings, they'll tell you. Those are true cravings. And the reason why they're getting those cravings is because their body's needing something. Um, case in point, there was a study done and they got a lot of uh, Irish alcoholics. Um, I forget where I read this study. Um, and the researcher um, gave each of the, uh, the people in the test group high doses of fish oil and it fixed their alcoholism. Why? Because there's something in fish oil that the body also gets when it, uh, when it consumes alcohol. And once the, uh, the body got its requirement of the, uh, what the fish oil was giving it, they didn't need the alcohol anymore. Okay, so just bear in mind that a lot of cravings are usually nutritional deficiencies or deficiencies on some level. 
okay? It's not usually a deficiency in apple pie and custard, as nice as that may be. See you soon.